how can you, you know, mix in right. like, oh, I'm th- Robin now, and now it's suddenly, uh, you know, Batman, and now it's right. Superman, but now it's like a bad guy. I'm like, yeah. really? You're hanging this right. whole argument on the fact that the game feels somewhat thematically disconnected? Be thankful right. it's all DC, at least. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's not right. like Cthulhu, uh, Robin Hood. Really? Okay, first of all, that's... It isn't all DC. It's hockey and Penny Arcade and Lord of the Rings. And also, you can spend two punches to buy a kick. The least disparity. Now, Tom rates it a three. And I currently rated a six. At sure. one point, I rated it a seven. seven. I think I dropped See. it a little bit. The game is Bombay. Digging from the bottom the of the barrel. barrel. Any conversation centered on Tom is like digging from the bottom of the barrel. You work with what you've got. I remember in his review, he said something like, oh, you know, if you just... you, Because you have an action where you can do nothing on your entire turn mm. and make a coin or two coins. Right. And he said something like, oh, you know, it's crazy. If you just literally do nothing for the whole game... You might win by making a coin. At least he remembers what I say. If you're making For a that, single coin, he gets a point. <laughs> hey, all right, I get a point. And that's right. what your end game score is. You are asleep or dead. Asleep or dead. Asleep or dead. As an aside, I got a lot of garbage on this one because people don't think I don't like it because of the theme. I think the theme is fun. I just don't like the communication or the lack thereof of communication. It's just not that interesting to me. That's all. Mm. Uh, one uh, key well, is is it's knee. A it's a little bit of is knee. It's a little bit of is knee. It's a little bit of six dozen and one is a well known expression. Six dozen and one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is boring. What road? The five. Zoom I mean, the, the, the mechanic pretty well been established in road from this other thing because it kind of <laughs> looks like a uh, you know a Game Boy and this looks like a <laughs> square <laughs> thing. Did he seriously just flash a weapon at me? That is and, uh, uncool. Much like the um, oh, what's the what's the social deduction game oh, about if you don't murder, know, murder in Hong Kong? Deception. Deception. Yeah. Deception. Yeah. Deception. Much- That's another point for Z. That's right. Keep those points coming. The expedition. <laughs> yes. This you can make any. I don't understand. Right, shut up, Mike. You can make any game sound exciting. Not vicious fishes. Half an hour. These guys made it sound like Z so was the worst and, one in this video. So far, I am so pleased with his yeah, his true. his that's astute so, comments. I, My astute comments? I I think he means astute or austere, but that's not right. Uh, you know what? Six dozen and one. Oh. Terrible. And it's like whoever has the the most. Okay, Thank you, Z. Then that's fine. Daytime now let's and look it at it. Becomes nighttime because what Z is saying is not you interesting. Are up road. I always thought when Mike took forever in his turns, he was actually thinking about stuff. Sp- I'll let Mike handle this one. I can't fight everybody's battle. I don't what does that even mean? Senile, <laughs> Man, Z's put downs are getting, yeah, getting pretty, are pr- pretty low. Do you mean low as in bad quality or low as in hitting below the belt? I don't know what you mean. Either way, I called you senile and you missed it. I'll say I'm wrong on this one, so I'll give Z. Some credit on this one. Credit. Check I'm not saying we're going to listen to it. Something beneath the surface that is uh, that Wait, makes it. Talking. It's a fluffy game. It is not <laughs> just. Uh, I'll <laughs> pretend to be livid for my number five. All right. <laughs> you know what, Tom? You're wrong about this. Take to my face. Uh, I'll cut you, my man. Is, wow. My number three is Mr. Jack. Uh, uh, here we go. Best, most interesting, and when it came out, I think most innovative two-player games out there. Okay. We need to talk here. Before we go any farther, before we get any farther into this hypocritical man's further. Now, Z swung by the studio yesterday and dropped off a box of games that he's getting rid of. Some of them are new games that we're putting in the library. Some of their old games he doesn't have space for anymore. Do you know what one of the games was? I'm just saying. I said, I thought you liked the game. He said, I don't really need. I already have Mr. Jack 2, and you don't need them both. It's a 10, though. I'm just saying. I'm so confused, because, see, I, I have Mr. Jack right here. I'm pretty sure what I took to the studio was Mr. Jack in New York, what Tom is calling Mr. Jack 2. 
and I just like Mr. Jack more, so I kept this one, and I also have the Phantom of the Opera, another kind of Mr. Jack game, so yeah, I just don't have the room to keep all three, but Mr. Jack, the one I'm actually talking about in the list, I think is great. That one I kept. Usually I should run out there and get it and bring it in right now. Yeah. I double dog dare you to go out there and get it. You're not going to find it. I miss but, what he's um, saying. That's my number, that's my number three. Miss Rude! Tom, you could be more wrong than you are in the City of Kings. I could be more wrong, I think. What if I said I, it was a one? I guess that's, that's true. Semantics. That's semantics. That's <laughs> semantics. I do like somebody in the comments said, Z doesn't even like the game. He just wants Mike to go off on Tom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, you know what? You're right. At the end of the day, I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun the other runners. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm coming out of this baby on skates. Did he call me a bear? <laughs> <laughs>